I applied to the Don Bacardi Fellowship because it provided me an opportunity to have a different context. Um, I've been living in New York for five years and have been making art about being there and being in the city as opposed to being in my hometown in Baltimore and I got sort of stagnant. Being at the drawing school uh, for the first time in a very long time didn't allow me to sort of hide in my, my old ways of drawing. Every tutor took umbrage <laughs> to, and not in a bad way, but in such a, in such a good way to me, you know, coming in. It's just like, okay, I have drawing ability, I have a drawing degree, yeah, yeah, but can you challenge that? Can you change that? And each, and if, if we had time, I would rifle off exactly how each person sat with me and took extra time with me and took a moment to look at the drawings, look at my practice up to that time and sort of went, okay, you've done this, this is great, but how can you blow this out of the water or how can you change it or how can you make it better? Or how can you tear it down for the next six hours? How can you not fall into your, into your normal habits? And that has been very, it, it was very challenging the first two weeks because you know you get into, you get into a habit and you understand your, yourself and as an artist as, as what you can do what you know that you can do easily, but it becomes very hard when you have that, when you have that moment of someone going like, well, I know you can do this, but can you do this, this, that, this, that, that, and third? And it was, and for, especially in, in the gardens and greenhouses courses, um, both um, Claire and Sarah were very, very adamant about making me like push outside of my comfort zone with my composition and figuring out how to take my propensity for longer form compositions and make them better or how to activate the space in different ways or even use, dare I say, a curly mark, you know, because I'm all angles, <laughs> hard lines. The Gardens and Greenhouses course was I thought was the best way for me to see the city in and of itself because each garden and each greenhouse is situated within a, within a town or a community and each one of those communities has a completely different attitude, the architecture is different, how people feel about the garden is different and the kinds of people that you'll, that you'll meet in the gardens are different. Whereas like drawing at the National Gallery in the street, to take the National Gallery and all its history, all of its collected history with all the paintings and drawings within it, and then to take it out into that, into that sort of microcosmic ecosystem to see how that plays off other things in the area, definitely. It's, it's, sort of, it's really special. I've made a lot of weird drawings there because I'll come from weeping from a painting that I've only seen in a reproduction to outside and see the, the sort of magic that's happening as people are like, mull, like mulling around and interacting with art and interacting with sculpture and then people going into shows and buying clothes. And then color and memory was its own sort of it was a very sort of like deep introspective course for me because I had taken color out of my practice f almost four or five years ago. I haven't touched color in almost five years. And to have it sort of reawakened in my practice in this sort of nice, gentle, at my own pace, but very sort of heady way of doing it. I think the biggest takeaway overall is that drawing is anything that you want it to be. And while that seems like a very, like a very simple sort of concept, it's very, it's very profound to me because learning how, I didn't learn how to draw until I got to graduate school or didn't have, I didn't have any sort of system or anyone to sit down with me and kind of go, these are the ways that you can think about drawing. These are the ways that you can tackle drawing. These are the ways that you can manipulate drawing for your, for your, for your own purposes. But even then, those things are only limited by the scope of the people who are teaching you. And to uh, come here and see where drawing is, is everything here. It's what, what this place does. To have that access to such a malleable understanding of what drawing can be, I think that's the biggest, biggest takeaway for me.